Hey everyone, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining me. I just wanted to share some quick thoughts with everyone here. I just read an interesting article uh, from a friend of mine actually. So the backstory on this article while people join um, is this article was written by a friend of mine, probably one of the smartest friends I have. She was a 4.0 student, um, got straight A's all through high school, went to college, did her uh, did her uh, degree and then did post-secondary uh, beyond that a master's degree and then was actually going on towards her PhD smartest probably one of the smartest people I actually know and have in my circle of friends that I get to connect with every single year and she just wrote an article um, why I wish I didn't attend or why I, just, I didn't attend uh, my master's or post-secondary or whatever it is so I I'm just gonna do a plug for her article um, if you're friends with me on Facebook, even if you're not friends with me on Facebook, go over to Adam Green, type in Adam Green, you can find me, it's a public profile page, and there is an article there that I just shared, and I encourage you to take the, you know, the five minutes to read it, and just as a different perspective, because I think that I, the thing that I realized, that I'm calling this the post-secondary myth, and that is a post-secondary education either guarantees you a better financial future, a better outlook, uh, guarantees you maybe a better job because what she actually shared in her post, which I, you know, I haven't had a chat with her in two in in recent uh, months, but because she has her master, she was saying that actually people were not wanting to give her a job because she was overqualified for a position, and I just found that to be like kind of mind blowing. And so anyway, go check out my page and find Adam Green and uh, find this article, read it share it and it, I think it just gives a great ulterior perspective on on maybe what some of our young adults our kids are going through because we uh, the myth is again that this is the only way to do it we have to do this if we don't do it you're crazy or stupid people are spending multi billions of dollars on uh, post secondary student loan debt in the US is over 1.2 trillion dollars uh, in Canada, it's over $1 billion. It takes the average student 18 years to pay off their student loan in Canada. It is a substantial amount of income, a substantial amount of time, effort, and energy. And as Danielle shared in her article, it might, she, she you know, maybe, maybe regrets it. And I just thought it was a great way of, of just showing an alternative perspective from someone who's been through, uh, I believe, close to eight years of post-secondary education. Um, again, I touched on some of the stuff on post-secondary in my book, 25 to Life, Jailbreak Your 9 to 5 and Escape to Financial Freedom, because really the student loan debt crisis is, is absolutely uh, substantial. Like I said, student loans in the U.S. over $1.2 trillion, and in fact... The, the fun thing about student loan debt that they do not tell you at a high school guidance counseling is that student loan debt, you can't even get rid of it through uh, bankruptcy. You know, there's lots of other types of debt we can acquire and we think that we, you know, if we declare bankruptcy, we can get rid of them. The only way to get out of student loan debt is to actually pay it off. So it is a, it is a, a lesson to be learned. And the thing that I love about learning from other people is it allows us to maybe not have those same experiences or mistakes or have to go through those same motions. We're then able to be mentored by people. So in, in my business, I've got mentors. I've got people who have gone before me who I can learn from their experience and then I can then make better, more informed decisions. Danielle, by writing this article, is being a mentor to a lot of people by sharing her experience with her uh, post-secondary and her master's and really coming from somebody who's just graduated, just got her master's science and so, again, I think there's a, uh, there is a time and a place and an o occupations out there that are uh, suited for post-secondary. We need doctors, we need lawyers, we need certain things, and, but we don't need everybody to go and do that. And it's not smart for anybody out there to be recommending we only have a one-track mindset, that we, can we should only do this. We should be finding the best fit for people. Um, that maybe even is the best for them. You know, maybe the best for some people is to be an entrepreneur. Maybe some people are best suited to be an employee. Maybe some people are best to be a master of science and be a uh, doctor or whatnot. But a cookie cutter model is is old. It's archaic. It's not what we have. Uh, it's not what we should be following. And so I just encourage you to challenge the status quo, to look at what is ideal 
for you, where your passions are, um, where you feel called to do, and if it's not what everyone else thinks you're supposed to do, I am here to tell you that you're not crazy, that <laughs> you're not crazy, because a lot of people thought I was crazy when I went away from well, my post-secondary background, when I went away from my job and I started a home-based business, people thought I was crazy, and now four years later when I found success, people think that I either got lucky. So again, lots of stuff, self-plug, documented in 25 to Life, jailbreaking 9 to 5, Escape to Financial Freedom, find it at 25tolifebook.com, and anyway, go check out my Facebook page, Adam Green, and you can find an article from Danielle. Um, comment on it. Let her know what you think of it. I think it's great. I'm sharing it because I think it's going to provide a lot of value to our youth out there to hear from somebody who's just gone through uh, a very real experience. And the best way that we can learn is through other people's experiences. And then, again, make the most informed decision. After reading uh, and understanding her article, you might go, you know what? Maybe that's her experience. Mine might be different or, you know, I still think I want to do this. Great. You're at least making the most informed decision, which is what we all want in the day. When I talk about my business, I'm simply providing information and people can make the informed decision on what they want to do with that information, with our products, services, whatever. Same thing with post-secondary. Just look at the options, look at the information and then make the most informed decision. So that is the uh, the message for today and just understanding that a post-secondary education does not guarantee you success. It does not guarantee you a job. In fact, in, in Danielle's experience, she found that it actually kind of hindered her by having almost too high of an education. Not saying it's bad or that everyone or that, that there's a room for it in today's society, but it is a big financial decision, it's a big time commitment, and we are wise to really evaluate all of our decisions uh, along that area, learn from others, and, and make that decision. So this is Adam Green. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys later.